Hi, I'm Rich Nolan from Nolan Engineering located in upstate New York and today we're going to show you some of our post connectors and also show you how to install a post connector to a concrete sono tube. So concrete sono tubes are fairly common when you're building a deck or even some addition sometimes. They usually extend four feet into the ground at least here in New York and they'll stick out of the ground about an inch. And typically you want to set a post on top of the concrete tube but you have to use a connector, which serves at least two purposes. Uh, one purpose is to have your post not get kicked off, or if there's a strong wind upload force, you don't want the post to lift off the concrete pier. Another purpose is they usually have a, an inch standoff, so the bottom of your post doesn't rot out. So we are gonna show you how to connect the post connector to a concrete pier. So to help me with that, I'll call in Brian. These connectors we sell are stainless steel, um, sorry, they're galvanized steel. They have a, a hole in the bottom and then they have a composite standoff block that's countersunk. And what you have to do is take a half inch masonry bit on a hammer drill and, and drill in the center of the, the pier, which we'll do now. Okay, so we just drilled the hole, and to install this, we're going to use a um, sorry, a Simpson uh, Titan screw. This is a half inch diameter. These work in really easy, so you put them on a hammer drill. I'll give you that, Brian. And if you notice, these connectors are countersunk, so the head of the bolt won't stick up beyond this. Snug it up, you don't over tighten it. But that's a good solid connection. And obviously your post goes in there and then you install your screws or your, or your nails. Now, you know, the, it's not going to get kicked off if there's a little wind upload force. This will lift this thing out of the ground. Uh, we do offer these. These are our standard post connectors with our composite one inch standoffs. But uh, these are very similar to what's on the market. They're not very decorative. Um, so we do offer some decorative connectors, which we'll show you next. So these are our silhouette decorative uh, post connectors. We have these for both the bottom of the post and the top of the post. Um, they're made from, I believe, uh, 14 gauge uh, steel, which we have powder coated. And these go down similar to the other ones. Just if you're looking for a more decorative look. that's what they look like installed. We do supply you with the screws that are uh, painted black. Um, this looks a lot you know, nicer, I think, than the, um, the shiny square connectors. We do offer these in different um, styles. Um, you can even order custom ones if you like. And we also make these for the top. How the top works is we make these for 4x4, four 6x6 four, six six post. Um, the, the tree connector sits here. And if it's a four by four post, you would use a smaller U, U hold down bracket. Uh, for the, the larger post that we have here, uh, we use the six inch hold down bracket, which we'll install first. The nice thing about this too, is you can slide this to wherever um, you want over the beam. So next we'll put in two screws to hold this guy on. The spacing here is made for a double 2 by member, 2 by 8 2 by 10 2 by 12 This can't be used for a beam that's smaller than a 2 by 8 like a 2 by 6 because these are they would be too tall.
these connectors are just as strong as the plain um, style connectors, but I think they look uh, much better and they would uh, be a good talking piece for your deck. So thank you for watching.